So now we're going to show you a quick torque lock installation. This pool was originally plaster. We saw the cracks. Now it's chipped down to gunite. When we chip it down to gunite, sometimes we could lose the cracks. So we're going to show you how we missed the pool. We get it wet and the structural cracks will retain the moisture. After they retain the moisture, we take a wax crayon, a wax marker, and we mark them. So when it dries out again, we don't see it. Next thing we do is we take our template, we mark our two pinholes, and then we mark around the template. In this job, we don't have to cut that deep, but we do have to cut it back so it sets into the wall. So we drill our two holes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut around our outer markings that we did. Then it's going to be ready to chip out. Next thing we do is we chip it out. Get it all cleaned out nice and neat. Then we clean our holes. So we get them all ready before we set our staples. And you can see how we have them set up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our epoxy and then we're going to set our staple. When we set our staple, notice the square coming in. That's where it's at its least compression. So now we tap it. We're going to speed it up. Get it in nice and snug. We do that with all our staples. Then we take our torque wrench and we torque it down to a controlled on this job, 22 pounds because it's a gunite shell. After it's compressed, we're ready to lock and load, cover it up so that we don't have any bleed out. On this job, we could be a little messy about it because it's not plastered. This pool's getting plastered. So we rub it in, we get all of our cement, we get everything covered, and this job's ready to wrap up.